How often should you do quality control inspections? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. I had a person ask me that question on our chat on the janitorial store uh, just yesterday. And you know, it's a great question. Uh, and you know, everybody should be doing quality control inspections. Now, you know, there's plenty of great apps out there. In fact, you know, the one that I highly recommend is Clean Smarts. Uh, it's a fantastic app for doing quality control inspections, plus a lot of other things that you'd use it for, uh, for your operations, a uh, part of your business. But, you know, we have to do them. Uh, it's amazing to me how many cleaning companies don't do inspections. Uh, they're feeling that it's an expense, and geez, you know, I don't want to spend the money to pay somebody to go through and, and uh, you know, do, a, do an inspection. Uh, I just think that's a bad idea. Uh, we always uh, do inspections on a regular basis and uh, you know it's always based off of uh, the size of account, uh, the frequency that we service the account and based off of that you know that's when uh, my supervisors turn in their inspections you know uh, they can just enter them onto the app and uh, you know and uh, send them to, to us you, you know I'm always put on copy uh, so is the operations manager but um, it works out fantastic, you know, and they actually have a schedule uh, for certain accounts that they're responsible for to have these inspections done. Um, so very, very important. You know, we have to make sure that we maintain the quality of span standards uh, for our clients. You know, we've set those and we set those with the client. Uh, by doing so, you have little or no complaints. Boy, that's a no-brainer if you ask me. Um, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. No complaints. You know, you don't want any complaints. Uh, that's, how, uh, that's how your clients start to look around for a different service because they're tired of calling you because the same trash can's missed over and over and over. Or a door's been unlocked. <clears throat> you know, you just don't need those things. And uh, like I say, there's just no excuse for it, especially with the apps that are out there today. And, uh, you know, there are uh, a few good ones. But anyway, uh, when you're thinking about that, uh, think about your accounts. Like I say, we always base ours off the size and the frequency of service. You know, on my board here, what I've got is that I've got days per week and, and inspections. So on a five to seven day uh, large account, we may be doing that inspection daily. In fact, you know, we may be doing an inspection as in a section of the building. If you're doing a 120,000 uh, square foot facility, obviously you're not going to walk, walk that every day. You're going to break that up into, into areas, sections, or sectors and go ahead and inspect those sectors each day. And in fact, a good tip would be that go ahead and uh, based off your, your, team cleaning, uh, your team cleaning chart, depending on which area that you probably detailed that, that night, is probably the area that you want to walk off and go ahead and inspect for, for quality. So that's what we do for very large accounts. Uh, for accounts that are five days per week, we will always typically do a, an inspection once per week. Um, always. For an account that's three to three days per week, we'll typically uh, do that a bi weekly inspection. Uh, just like clockwork, we'll set up the day and the time and we'll, we'll do that just like clockwork. Then for an account that's one to two days per week, we will do uh, an inspection monthly. And uh, that's what we do for our commercial accounts. It works out fantastic. Like I say, it, uh, it really, we really got a good handle on our quality. You know, we, we know right where it's at. We know where there's, there's problems. We address those problems. You know, and we're being proactive, and that's really what it's all about. By doing inspections, you're being proactive rather than reactive. Now, if you're a reactive company, well, that's, you know, that's too bad because eventually I'm going to take your accounts because you're not taking care of your customer. Plain and simple. So, when we start talking about the residential side of the industry, which, uh, what you'll find out is what we always did is that whenever we had an account that was weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, uh, it was always general cleans. So on the weekly accounts that we go and clean homes, we would uh, inspect those every other week. So we'd always make sure that we did an inspection every other week on weekly, uh, weekly general cleans. For bi-weekly general cleans on a res residential home, we did those monthly. That worked out fantastic. Then for our monthly accounts, which we had very few of, we most of our accounts were bi-weekly, just like most most uh, residential cleaning companies. The you know majority of their accounts are are bi-weekly. 
but our monthly accounts we did those per service because again you know we're only in there once a month so so we want to make sure that we're that we're taking taking care of that uh, uh, you know and doing those inspections and again you know with the apps today you're able to even put the homeowner or the your actual client uh, on copy so they can re receive a copy of the inspection you know, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, I mean, geez, you're, you're communicating with them, you're keeping them in the loop, they're, you're showing them, you know, uh, what you're doing for, for the uh, money that they're investing with you, and you just sh show that you care. So, uh, there's the tips that I have. Uh, you know, uh, go ahead and use, use these. Uh, you know, and, and they may not work for some of your accounts, but, you know, go ahead and modify them. But just one thing for sure is make sure you're doing quality control inspections. Um, Use an app or use paper, uh, paper uh, worksheet, whatever you got to do, but just do them. You know, it's very important. If you don't want to spend money for the app, uh, you know, uh, then then uh, go to the janitorial store or my house cleaning biz and download our our, our paper our, our paper document that you can do quality control inspections with. Um, you know, and uh, at least at least you're doing them and you're uh, you know um, maintaining a, a standard, and that's really what it's all about. Well, that's all I have. Uh, that's it for now. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video down below. And as always, if you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel, go ahead and please subscribe. And uh, watch for more videos. Uh, we're putting out a lot of videos and uh, on various topics. So, uh, you know, you don't want to miss it because you never know that uh, you might be able to get a big nugget out of one of the videos that could really move your business forward.